It is so exciting to be here with you. Applied improvisers, a whole world conference of them. Because we speak the same language, and we can talk about our craft and really hone our skills here. Because out there, they speak other languages. And it's harder to talk to them. I think it's because they don't need applied improv. They don't. None of them. Here's what I mean. If you own a house, if you own a house and you want to remodel the kitchen, you don't need a saw or a drill, sandpaper or hinges. You need an expert who you can talk to about cabinets and countertops and what you like to do and how you like to cook because ultimately, you want a kitchen because this is where you make food for yourself and for your family. It's where you come together. That's what you need. If you drive a car or a bike, you don't need wrenches, screwdriver, tire pressure gauge. Maybe one or two of you if you're really into it. But what I need is this guy because the car language I speak is roughly when I start it, it goes wah, wah, wah for about a minute, and then it stops. I don't know what it's saying, but he does, and can figure out what the car is saying and fix it for me, because ultimately, what I need is a way to get to work, a way to get to Fort Mason, to go on a vacation, maybe to a restaurant. Or if I have a bike, I don't want to know how it all works. I just want to take a romantic ride through the city with someone. If I am a team leader, or an executive, or uh, somebody that just manages people, I don't need a game that illustrates yes and by uh, finding three things in common, or being able to become instantly a knife and a fork with your partner, not silently. I don't need to be able to play the game that's with the ball, or maybe one that we all just pass an invisible ball and make sounds like bing, bing, wah, bing, woo, 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 right? They don't need that. They need you, the expert that can speak their language. Because really, the only reason we have them do this is because they're doing this and they can do it better. What I'm talking about is the applied part of applied improv. What we do is in the application. You don't do applied improv. You use applied improv. Each one of us has a list of the things that we do. There, the list is the list that your client gets from you. For me, I develop leadership. I unlock creativity. I catalyze innovation, improve communication, and inspire collaboration. Do you know what your list is? Because it's an important list. The list for my clients looks more like this. They create products, they service clients, they heal people, they increase their profits, or they live healthier lives because their stress is less. The good news is that you already know how to do this. As an improviser, you know how to listen deeply and hear the words that they're using and then reincorporate it back into the conversation. In doing that, you build on their ideas, and what you've done is start to collaborate with them to build the thing they need. And in the process, you make them look brilliant. So they ask you to bring what you have to help them. So the world doesn't need applied improv. They need you, the expert, to speak their language. <laughs>